Hello everybody, my name is Dapper Cody, although last time I made one of these, my name was just Cody. But anyway, before I get too far in this video, I'd just like make a note here that when I originally recorded this footage, the audio that accompanied it was, uh, didn't record right, and it was very low and crappy. So I'll be recording this post-gameplay, as opposed to during the gameplay way I normally do. And that brings me to the next point. Hey look, it's Fusion Fall! game I haven't played in quite a while while I'm walking to my next destination and I like I've mentioned before I intended to not continue this series because I wasn't happy with my the quality of my videos in the past but the demand has been there you guys have spoken so I'm going to give it yet another another shot lost track of how many times I've given it another shot it's details details don't worry about that so I will try my best on a semi-regular basis to try this. I'm still not completely satisfied with the uh, video content. I haven't improved upon that in any way, but if you guys watch it and think it's good, then I can give it a shot. Certainly it. But yeah, I, on to the game now. I completely forgot where I was as of last time. It's in the middle of that park or whatever. don't remember what I was doing, so I had to look it up. And I do believe I'm trying to get my next nano. I was on the uh, Blossom one. I had the sugar and spice and the everything nice. <laughs> so I just had to uh, give it to her or something. Something along those lines. And I was just running past everything. Because obviously any vehicle I had. Again, I don't remember if I had to be a vehicle or not. But that long since expired. It's a thing in Fusion Fall I really wish they had. To the best of my knowledge, I believe the only vehicles you can get are just rentals. And the longest one's only like 15 days, 30 days, I don't know, something not permanent. When they totally, totally could have had something where, you know, just get high enough level or secret, you buy your own vehicle. But yeah, here we go. Blossom Nano Missions, the one I'm on. I collected all the crap, so now I just gotta go bring it back to her. As if sugar, spice, and everything nice is crap. Yeah, pardon my language there. And I do believe that after checking something out here, yes, I accidentally walked past this thing too close to that, which activated another mission ad going on. I was like, what, huh? What's going on? So then I checked that out, and just a normal, or no, the guide mission, guide mission, yeah. I got too close to it, and Mojo's monkey's like, oh my goodness, you have to go collect that thing. And it was one of them time missions, so I was like, oh crap, I better do that now. You know, there are absolutely no repercussions for not doing a timed mission, because as you saw in my solo shells video, if you fail the timed part, it just restarts the time. So, it would have been kind of annoying to have that continually happening, but I could have done it. Or not done it. Just, just ignored it. Hi, Gumball. Yeah, could have ignored it. Would have been fine, but whatever. Now, instead, I'm like, alright, I'm here. Might as well. And thus, I went to that super infected school. I almost called it a swamp. Excuse me. Yeah, also, this video was a little laggy for me while I was playing, so some of the jumps were not so pretty, but I think it worked out for the best, for the most part. Could have been a lot worse. Yes, and these platforms can be so slow. So slow. Up, and yeah, it was... I don't know where it was. It was like, uh, why are there gated parts? I don't know where exactly I'm going. And I kept hitting, <laughs> that's right, I kept hitting two, I meant hit one, because I'm used to my jumpy one being on two. So I kept hitting Darwin, when I meant for Gumball. Not that I don't like Darwin, but I wanted my jumpy guy, not my whatever the heck Darwin does. So then I'm like, oh, I got it, I got it, oh crap, there's another fence. But fortunately, the fence for some reason doesn't extend all the way out, which means it's not really a good fence. So I could have just came over here the entire time instead of just trying to risk it but whatever and oh oh it's like get it get it there we go up and over that little fence and yeah I'm not going for the uh, layer portal I'm just going for this I don't know whatever it is this beacon I grabbed it or something because it was about to. But we'll say it was about to explode. I just saved the school. I'm a hero. Oh yeah. I would. Yeah, I should probably listen. Sorry, Mojo. Don't hurt me. 
And yeah, after that, I had to go bring it back to him, but then him, the monkey guy, and Blossom were in the same area, so then I could go back to my original mission. Just had to get out of here. Yeah, see these fences? They had holes in them, except for the first one. That one you couldn't just walk past. So it's like, what the heck, man? Why did that happen? Luckily, they have these jump things, so I can just barrel through it. Consequences be darn. See? Once again, I meant to hit Gumball, and I got Darwin. Really gotta switch that for next time. <laughs> yeah, I'm not happy with the fusion choices I have. I think I'll come back to that in a bit, but... Yeah, my normal lineup, I think, was, uh... I had a jumpy guy, the rocket. Not the normal high jump, but, like, the double jump. I had a bonus experience guy, because... The more experience you get at times, the better, obviously. Level up quicker and whatnot. And then I had a healing one, because the combat gets a bit harder later on. Especially if you take on things that are way above your level. They, they will murder you very quickly. So health was very key. And that was my main lineup that I rocked with. So I had a nice variety of nanos, but couldn't use everyone. So like someone like Blossom, who I don't think has any of those powers, rarely got used in my original playthrough of this. On my main guy. Yes. And right about now, I wish I had a hoverboard or something. Or at least a guy who could run. Nope, I just gotta roll. Like, Link in Hyrule Field or something. Just run and roll, run and roll. Poor Giddy Pona. Oh, uh, they should have ho horses or something in this. That'd be cool. I mean, hoverboards are fine, but horses! Horses are where it's at, everyone. Seriously. Also, unrelated note, I'm happy that they're finally adding horses to normal Minecraft. I understand it's been a mod for, uh... Forever, for quite a while they had the mole creatures, but I like when things like that are added to just the regular vanilla Minecraft. That's cool. Anyway, ow. Snap my ankles once again. Good thing the laws of gravity and physics don't quite apply here. Or I'm invincible super robot. One or the other. I think I'm a... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'm supposed to be telling you this. But yes, yeah, so we gotta talk to Mojo's monkey. Because he is my guide. And here's your beacon, you lazy bum. You can fly and I can't. And you... you want a mission? Uh, sure. Yes. Thank you. Mm-hmm. And then, while I'm here, grab my next one. Because it's the guide missions, I do believe. But... Be careful. Thank you. Bob, hey, what's Stop up? it. Yes. Late. Welcome to the jungle. See you soon. That guy sounds like a creeper. Uh, okay. So yeah. Now I got that crap out of the way. Put that on the back burner. And we... I think... Yeah, let's check out my nanos first. Cause I hadn't remembered what nanos I got. I was like, maybe I can get, you know, a jumpy one and a health one and a... Experience one. But, uh... Unfortunately, I don't have... I don't think I have the fusion boost experience guy. And I think my jump guy gumball is the same as my uh healer i think it was rigby so i couldn't have them both at the same time because i tried to get the abc the a blue one a red one a yellow one try and get that balance even though it's not as important now as it is later in the game but uh yeah i think they're all a's or something so unless i wanted a a a triple a double a either triple a or i'll call it synonymous you're gonna have to ignore that so yeah, just awkwardly getting myself reacquainted, and then first time it wasn't loading, so I had to re-click in it. It's like, yeah, oh, he's the same as Gumball. So I can't have healing and jumping, and jumping's more important. So while the combat doesn't get too difficult for a little while yet, the platforming is always key. And as soon as you get a rocket, you gotta keep something like that. Either that or a big jump. Otherwise it becomes a lot harder. A lot harder. Yeah, I probably should have grabbed the run, though, if I could have. But, eh. Say la vie. Anyway. Anyway. But yeah, another thing too, this fun note while we're waiting here. Uh, when I first made my first Fusion Fall video, I think it was in like November 2011. That was shortly after the last time this game has had a major update. Since then, almost two years, year and a half, it has not had one update. And that is a very sad thing in my opinion. Very sad. But anyway, we got Blossom's uh, mission here. We'll deliver to her the uh, sugar spice and everything nice. Don't delete it. Almost delete it. Whoops. I gotta watch where you're clicking. That would have been annoying. Had to go back and redo it.
You ready for I'm ready a for a mission. All right. Yes. So I recovered your DNA or whatever, but then got a hair ribbon that was stolen. So we got to go steal it back before Fuse makes a fusion. But luckily, he does make a fusion, so we can kill the fusion, and get the nano. But that's aside from the point. Yeah. No side missions right now. We're doing a nano mission. Our first one back. We're doing a big one. And I had to just check see if anything was on the way or closer. But nah, it's just like, eh, forget it. Let's just go. Go big or go home. Banzai! At this moment, I realized, crap, I'm going the wrong way. I was going north, I meant to go south. So I dropped off. And we walk. It was annoying, but we did get to see, uh... You know, go through here. Don't know if you guys remember this. This is where the mission that shall not be named is. And I think... I'm a little nosy rosy here, and I go over by the other chain, and I see a solo shell. Yeah, on your left right there. There it is, the thing that curses everyone who plays this game. It's one sitting all by him. Awesome. Yeah, it's been, what, like a year almost? Half a year? I don't know. It's been quite a while since I... Actually, I think it's been over a year since I recorded the... Oh, no, wait. Yeah, solo shell video was like a year and a half ago. So I'm not sure if they ever fixed that. I know they never made an announcement on the website or something that they fixed that. Never made a major update. But they could have tweaked it behind the scenes, but I don't remember ever hearing anything about it. So I'm not sure if it got easier or harder, if it's even possible now. It's probably at least possible. Because it was there, but who knows. And thank you, Darwin. I finally hit Darwin when I wanted to hit Darwin, so I could sneak past him. I don't know how he's good at sneaking, but I won't complain. He's doing his job. Yeah, thank you, Darwin. You can go away now, Darwin. Darwin. Bye, Darwin. Darwin, go home. Darwin, please go home. Please. Pretty please. Thank you. Oh, he'll be back. I actually like Darwin more than Gumball, but it's fun to mess with him. Okay, so yeah, I do believe our destination is right back inside the zone where we were so yay for visiting the same zone like four or five times that's how this game works you get a bunch of missions they're all located in one area so you'll be hitting the same area a lot before you move on to the next one so on and so on luckily for us this one's a bit closer you can see it right over there on the right right in front of the school it's our target that is the secret not so secret layer of fusion blossom dun 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 also, don't know if I've ever brought this up before, but how are those lockers floating? Like, I'll, I'll believe in magic for those wooden platforms, but how are the lockers just sitting there? Unmoving. It's kind of weird. I suppose logic is bad, but uh, get up there. Okay. Just ignore it. Get in there. Get in the hole. Here we go. Yes, it's time to bag us a fusion. Or, uh, yeah, bag us a fusion, get us a nano. Do new. Okay. Get orientated, and there we go. Got lots of these giant there? bugs we got to exterminate to get there. Ugh. Yes, the catter plugs or whatever. Part catter pee, part outlet plug. I'm not quite sure. But they're all dead. Thanks to Cody, whatever my name is. Anyway, yes, these things are also pretty diabolical, these levels, because it's essentially a maze you gotta make your way from the start to the finish usually there's only one way from the start to the end boss and then the exit but the map it kinda helps it shows you their location but it doesn't show you how to get there there are no walls or anything so you just gotta you know make your way through hoping you can get there and usually it's not the simplest way to get there it's usually the uh, longer way or more roundabout way there's lots of dead ends and stuff and it gets pretty annoying Although, I think this layout is my least favorite, the uh, dark cave-like one. I like the interior one more for some reason, and then there's a third one that is completely slipping my mind right now, but, yeah. Got my trusty custard gun, like that design. Mm -mm -mm. We're mowing down these bugs. They can run, but they can't hide. Yes. So many bugs. So little time. Yeah, like I said earlier, this combat's pretty simple at this stage of the game. It's hard to be under leveled for this thing, so it's mostly just shoot and kill or whack and kill. 
But yeah, after all that hard work, I made wrong turn. I went the wrong way, drat. Should have took that left at Albuquerque. Or shouldn't have took that left at Albuquerque. And try and get back as quickly as possible because the bugs respawn infinitely. So, oh yeah, and if you walk near them, they will attack you. So you're going to have to kill everything pretty much in your way. So if you make a wrong turn, that's like twice the amount of killing you got to do. And it's like, oh, come on. Hi. Hi, Darwin. Sorry. Yeah. Then I remembered, hey, I have sneaky. I can just sneak by them. I tend to forget I have that. I don't know. It's not one of my more commonly used powers. But then I'm like, all right, I'll shoot you. Just snuck past the one to get back to the bend or whatever. I don't know. Anyway. Yes, just... Endless corridors of, I don't know, is this a cave? Something dreary and outdoorsy. Got giant rocks, dead grass, plenty of giant bugs. But we are getting closer to Blossom. We're going to murder every single caterpillar in our way, but we will do it. We will do it. It's like every corner is like, come on. Is this the corner? Is this the one? But no, it never is. Yeah. Also, it's at this moment I realized I keep hitting... Darwin, I mean Gumball. Can I switch that here? Then I'm like, oh, I have to be at a nano station. Oh. So yeah, hopefully by the next time I'll remember to switch that out. Probably won't, but hopefully I will. Ideally I will. Oh yeah. Oh. Sorry, Mordecai. Got your hopes up for nothing. Yeah. I'm like, oh, don't worry, Mordecai. I promise I'll use you on the boss, because Mordecai had a weakness to this. Yeah, if you look in the bottom right corner, it's blue beats red, red beats yellow, yellow beats blue. So these enemies have the red attribute, which means yellow, Mordecai would be weak. It'd be the blue that'd be strong, and red's neutral. So yeah, it'd have to be a blue boss, or yellow boss, for me to get used, for me to use Mordecai. And don't remember if that happens or not, we'll see. Waiting for my health to respawn, thankfully it does. It'd be really cruel if your health didn't respawn, you had to like have a healing nano, otherwise it wouldn't happen. But no, this game is somewhat forgiving in that manner. And another bug bites the dust. They're never ending bugs, never ending bugs. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> okay. Yeah, if you look at the map, we're getting close. Our little arrow in the center is pretty close to the evil guy boss in the exit. It's like, is this the corner? Is No, it's not. Not this corner. Maybe the next corner, but not this corner. Bugs. 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 So many bugs. And next corner. There she is. She's flying around, being angry and stuff. So it's like, gotta get close. And hey, it's a blue attribute, which means Mordecai, you can help. I'm so yeah, you ready. are. Let's kill this girl and get our nano. Oh. Yeah, then she, she kind of murdered Mordecai, but we got her. We got her. Gumball, help us. Go, go. Yeah, the combat in this game is so simple. Come on. It's like, who will outlast the other? All right. Blossom. And we win Blossom, our new nano. Hooray. And the three powers are stun, ice breath, antidote, hooray, and freedom, which I forget what each of them does. Stun's a stun. Then antidote, like, protects you from poison, and freedom protects the group or something. Freedom and are similar. Just one protects your potions, the other protects your group. Yeah, I was like, I don't really want any of these. None of them suit my playstyle. I'm sorry, Blossom, you're probably never getting used. Don't be so happy. So, I do believe I just go, I'm like, uh, uh, everything nice. Why not? This should help. I'm like, uh, thanks, Blossom. You're making me guilty about never using you. But, yeah, that's another Nana. We can get the heck out of Dodge. So, let's get the heck out of Dodge, shall we? So I thought, first episode back, might as well start it with a bang, get you a nano, because everyone loves a nano. I've said it before, I'll say it again, that is my favorite part of this game. I like the Cartoon Network aspect. It's an average MMO, but I do like the nanos. Their design is pretty unique. They do add somewhat of a twist to combat, although I simplify it because I have my favorites. And they're pretty adorable. Pretty darn adorable. But yeah, so get a heck out of this evil zone. Warp back out. And then I think we'll wrap this episode up. Yeah, if you do want to see more of this, go ahead, give it a like, let me know, post in the comments if you'd like it, you're enjoying it. It's not 
my most satisfying effort, but I have enjoyed it in the past, and I can certainly enjoy it in the future, and if you continue to enjoy it, I can do it some more as well. But yeah, I think one more quick little thing happens here before we sign out. I was trying to give my proper exit, and then this dork kept trying to trade with me. I was like, uh, no thanks. Uh, no thanks. And he tries two more times before we go. Then he asks why, and I, I leave him. But alright, yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. Have an excellent day. And if you want to see more, let me know. So until then, I'll see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.